G'day my favorite people. Moose here and check out this. Super easy. I'm going to show you how to make a sheet metal scrap project that this is so convenient. You're going to wish you had more of them. I'll show you why. So I use them as containers to kind of look after and keep my stuff nice and neat. So nothing's ever, ever out of place. I don't lose any of my gear. And kind of most important, I don't waste time looking for them. I use them in the tool trolley, use them in the workshop. As I'm pulling stuff apart, I use them to kind of keep track of where everything is. And depending on what I'm wearing or the vehicles I'm working on, I might need a drip tray. <laughs> I'm sorry, kids. I think that's funny. All right, let's get into it. Peace and love, guys. Hope you're all happy and healthy. Sawdust and chrome. Sawdust and chrome. Everybody loves. Sawdust and chrome. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm super lucky that we get to use the workshop here at school. And you guys know I'm a huge fan of the, um, anything to do with your kind of scrap material projects because we don't want to waste stuff. So sheet metal stuff. You've seen this one. You've seen our more advanced toolbox. I'll chuck in links if you want to get into those. But for this one, we'll just do the small little container. And um, I don't know, it's super convenient. You guys know why. So all you really need to know is your dimensions, the exact dimensions you need it to be, and the height. This time I want you to consider safety edges, but so they're nice for our fingers. Um, I'll explain on a bit of paper. All right, let's go. All right, guys, the two things most important size of your base. So I'm going to do 120 by 120. Then you need to consider the size of the sides. So depending on where it's going to go, this is super important. So for anything in my tool trolley, it's got to be uh, 60. Six centimetres. Now on two of them, oh sorry, all four, you need a safety edge. The safety edge uh, should be about five mil, half a centimetre. And then on two ends, you need to do, I guess, the, the corners for the tabs. Then these corners is how we attach it. And the tabs can be 15 mil, 10 mil, it doesn't matter, as long as there's enough to get a rivet through. And all the angles we do are on the 45. So that's the base, sides, safety edges, and the tabs to attach in the corner. I'll draw it nice and neat on, the piece, uh, on our sheet metal. Hot tip with the sheet metal. Make sure the thickness wise, I like the, um, the 0.7 millimeter. It seems to be a nice combo of still nice and strong, but it's not too hard on the tools to bend it and to cut it. Um, all right, you guys can rock out and I'm gonna mark out. My hot tip while we're at the guillotine, because we're lucky enough to have one, is get rid of the corners. Guillotine as much as you can. Now we're going to use our tin snips to get rid of the corners, the bits we don't want. My 
hot tip with the tin snips is make sure the tip of it finishes exactly where you want it to. And make sure you start nice and straight. Once you start cutting, it's hard to correct. With all our sheet metal projects, you want to make sure you've got real nice sharp edges. Uh, sorry, clean edges. And please make sure you've got nice corners, the corners in particular. When it comes together, um, the smooth corners make a big deal. If there's any edges you don't love, um, use a file. If there's any corners you don't love, um, again, use a really tiny needle files or we're gonna tap it down with the hammer. So that should be nice and neat, ready for our bending, for our magna bend. Got my safety edges, all my measurements are correct, and I've got my tabs to bend, so I can join them in the corners. Please double check measurements. <clears throat> Sometimes the kids here will get one of these wrong, and so when it folds together in the corner, I don't get corners that match. You get one higher than the other. So. If the boys are fussy or your students are fussy with their measuring, um, that should eliminate most of the dramas they have down the track. All right, let's bend it. Is it just me or is it lobsters? They're not very generous. Is that because they're shellfish? <laughs> Where do sheep go for holidays? The Bahamas. All right, let's go. Bending. You have to do it in a certain sequence, so please get it correct. Do all your little safety edges first. You're gonna see me bend them up and then flap. Once I've done those, where the tabs are, I want you to bend across the whole edge. You're gonna bend them up so they're 90 degrees. They go straight up, straight up. Then you're gonna see me tweak these tabs a tiny bit. So when I bend this side up, that the tabs have to be on the inside of your box. So outside, sides with the tabs, and then we'll tweak the tabs in a second. It'll make sense when I do it. All right, now we're at the great bit. We're about to finish this off. A uh, little bit of tools, a little bit of marking out. I want you to be fussy. Tool-wise, we need the cordless, rivet gun, some rivets, a drill bit specific to the rivets you're using. Um, I like to use vice grips to help me hold stuff. And I'm actually gonna mark it out. I want you to be a little bit fussy. I want you to mark it out something similar to that. All I've done is I'll hold the corner where I want it to go. I'll do it on here. I've got the corner lined. I've got the corner lined up where I want. I'm going to give myself a line. I'm going to use these two marks. So what I've considered is the tab at the back. So make sure your rivets are going to hit the tabs. So, but be fussy about the marking out. So I'm going to mark them all out. Then you're going to see me use the vice grip to. Clamp on at the top. And I'm going to make sure I like where the corner, how the corners line up. So the vice grips helps me hold it because I don't have three hands. So I'm going to vice grip it, 
pop rivet, vice grips off, pop rivet, corner done. Mark out so it looks neat, and you guys can rock out. All right, let's finish this off. Apologies if I'm going to smidge too quick. If you're new to all the hand tools, the project we did with the carry-all, I kind of took my time. It's quite extensive, the use of the hand tools, um, the drills, the rivet, the pop rivet gun, the rivets, how they work, the guillotine, and the magna bend. So it's quite, you know, quite comprehensive. So if you're a little bit lost, check this project out. It's red hot. All right, let's get back to this little one. Rock out. If you're still with me, thank you so much. Please hit the subscribe button. I'm trying to grow our family, and you guys mean the world to me. Um, not too bad for five minutes of work. It's gonna be super handy, and it was just scrap metal. Just lying around. Um, I love that it scraps, new tools, might be excused to buy some kit, and um, you learn a thing or two. So, I think that's it, guys. So, hit the subscribes. Peace and love from my family to yours. You guys mean the world to me. That's it. Get out of here. Apologies, I might have... Sh oh, sorry. Dad joke. Why are lobsters... <laughs> Backtrack. This is actually a perfect little project. It teaches all the things about the sheet metal, the guillotines, using the magna bands, and all the hand tools. It's, um... Sorry, I'm saying my own stuff is good, but it's all right. All right, back to it. I think that's it, guys. Peace and love. Look after yourselves and um, go buy some tools. That's it, moose out. Moose out. I don't think I've said that in my life.